uh, 14 of them it would be multiple choice 14 of them okay please don't send me email ask what it would be in the exam why because what it would be in the exam i'm going to tell you now whatever is serving one whatever is serving two okay it means both courses we are in the exam how would be in the exam all the calculation all the tables it would be in the exam whatever you practice how you set up the to do life or total station total station is exactly the same as to do life i'm going to review some of this now okay but whatever you if you if you have done your your project by yourself okay it means the exam for you if you, are, you didn't do it by yourself the exam is not for you for somebody else did the exam did the project okay the first question i'm going to ask everybody automated automatic level okay use for what to determine what Automatic level. Elevation. Elevation or grade. 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 Okay? Elevation or grade. The automatic level used for that. Okay, guys? Okay, for if if the level rod is not is not vertical, is inclined, we're gonna have more reading for elevation or less leading reading for elevation. Everybody more or less? If it's a rod, it's fine. The same as what we have in the test, field test. You're going to find the reading bigger or smaller? Bigger. Smaller. Smaller? Bigger. Bigger. Exactly. Exactly. Because you read the hypotenuse. Okay, guys? It's math. It's logic. Everything is logic for for the exam. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the proper way for labeling the the automatic automatic level? What is the proper way? Level the tripod and then level using the T. T for the exactly. What is the T? T principle, okay? T principle, it's called the T principle. Everybody knows what is the T principle, yes? After you use the tripod, let, and if it doesn't adjust, you have to use the T principle. T principle is, if you have, this is the instrument, and you have three screws, you have to make the instrument parallel to the two of them two of them. And after that, when you turn the screws, turn it against each other. Okay? Uh, until you reach, yes. How we level the, the automatic, automatic level. Okay? You're gonna, you're gonna against each other, either, either in or out. Okay? And after you get somewhere, you have to rotate it 90 degree. 90 degree means it should be like that. And after that, you're going to adjust one screw only to make the bubble in the middle. OK, guys? This is always the rule for level. Not for to the light or total station. To the light or total station, it's always lit first for the bull's eye bubble. But for the tube bubble, it would be for screw. It means different. Okay, guys? Okay. And I believe I believe everybody understands there is two bubbles for for the to do, to do light or total station, but only one for level. Okay. If by if you have if you set up uh, the automatic level and in the mud area, okay? And by any chance, you take the reading, foresight and backside, and done. And after that, you figure out the bubble is not balanced. It's not level. What are you going to do? You do it. It's logic. Again, logic. Okay, guys? You do it, and after that, write it again. 
but not fake at that time. You have to type it exact. Yeah. Okay. What is the must not indicated in field field book? In field book, what must not indicated? In the field sketch, sorry, in the field sketch for field notes. We have the notes, we have everything except what? Scale. Scale. We don't have scale for the field. Okay, guys? Okay. How we measure angle into the light? How we measure angle into the light? We don't, I know we don't have any to the light in our but I explained it before. I explained the difference between to the light and total station. To the light only measure angle, no distance, okay? And when you measure the angle, you have to hold. You have to go for direct first, okay? You have to measure the direct angle first, the same as set zero, and after that, if you have here, this point, and this point, and the instrument is here. What you're gonna do, you're gonna backside the point, set zero, and after that, read the direct angle, again, right direction, and after that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold the reading, hold the reading, okay? And after that, flip the telescope and read the reverse, okay? This is the difference between to the light and total station. Total station, you have to press uh, F, F, uh, F1 and F2 and F3. But for, for the to the light, you have to hold the reading and after that, read the reverse. Understand, guys? And you have to divide the reverse by two in order to get the mean. But in total station, it gives you directly the mean and the reverse. Understand, guys? Do, we, do you, I need to explain it again? Yes. Yes? Okay. To the light, okay, you have to side the back side, uh, the, the point from the back side, set zero, and after that, read the angle, direct angle. And after that, hold the reading of the direct angle, flip the telescope, and after that, read it again. Read it again. When you read it again, you read it twice. And after that, divide by calculating the reverse to get the mean. Understand, guys? This is a to the light. Okay? Total station is different. Total station, you have to side it here, okay, and you make the repetition. Make the repetition, and after that, you're gonna press whatever whatever sequence, okay? It means F1 for distance, F2 for SH, if you need distance and angle, not the distance only, not angle only. If you need angle and distance for total station, because this is a difference, okay? You have to press distance, this is F1, and after that, SHB F2, and after that, you're gonna do the F3. F3 is zero seconds. Okay, guys? This is what the sequence for distance and angle for to the total station. Okay. If the data collector doesn't connect to us total station, okay, there is no communication. What's the problem? What was the problem? What's that? Level. Level is the most important thing you have to check. And I believe most of you guys, you experience that in the practical test. It doesn't connect, it doesn't connect, but the cause of the level, the level of, of the engine, okay? So, so the didn't work. <laughs> okay. How we calculate the accuracy ratio for traverse? And we name it by third order, again. Third order is different than third order of leveling. Third order, remember the last semester, it was one, it was one to 2,500. 
This is the third order for traverse. Okay, one to twenty-five hundred. How you calculate the one to twenty-five hundred? The perimeter. Remember? Perimeter and uh, and, and uh, linear, error. linear error of closure. How we gonna calculate it? Uh, linear uh, error of closure uh, and the perimeter. Okay, multiply. Divide. There's no multiply. Okay, I'm gonna divide what? Okay, I'm gonna divide the accuracy ratio is equal to perimeter. Perimeter divided by NPC. I will get this number. I will get this number. When I get this number, Okay, it means I'm gonna say one to this number. And always nearest, around to nearest 200, 200, okay guys? If it's less, you can round it 200, okay guys? Understand? Remember? You don't remember? Okay, now you remember. Yeah. When nearest 200? So like when you round it, 100. Nearest 100. Nearest 100. Nearest 100. Nearest 100, guys. Okay. Nearest it means uh, not round up, round down. Always round down. Okay. What is the uh, 10 stand for? T I N for uh, contour. What is the 10 stand for? Something with triangle. What's that? Something with triangle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ten. Triangular. Exactly. Here you find that you can you can Google it. Google it. There's no Google in the test. Triangular. Irregular. Regular network. Okay. 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 What is uh, for living? How are you going to calculate level? Leveling uh, table. How are you going to construct leveling table? Okay. The first thing is station. Backside. HI. ID. IS. Okay. Okay. Now, if I have, this is what you're going to find out, guys. You're going to read by yourself the, you're going to read by yourself the, Rod itself. Okay? You're gonna read by yourself in the paper. The rod. It means I'm gonna give you the shot of the rod according to a, a, as if you are shooting the point or shooting the the rod itself. Okay guys? You're gonna read it to one to the millimeter, one millimeter. It means three days. Always use three days, not two. Okay? And I, I saw in your uh, project, some people, they round it to 100, okay? 500, okay, 181.5. There is no centimeters, there is no millimeter. No, you have to round it to, because that the error gets very big when you do that, okay? You have to make it with millimeter, okay? Now if I have here the table, Table to this station, the height, uh, the back side, back side, height, instrument, intermediate side, and you have to figure out what is the intermediate side, what is the back side, what is the fourth side according to the first reading, second reading, third reading until the end. Okay. And side and after that elevation. 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 elevation okay 
Adjust the elevation. If you don't need to adjust elevation. If you want to adjust elevation, you could adjust elevation. Okay? But if you have the reading for this is the first one, turning point two, turning point three, and intermediate, intermediate one, intermediate two, and the last one. This is number four. If you have something like that, okay, the back side. For example, it's a two. Okay, don't use three zeros, please. Okay, you have to use the millimeter. Okay, and the four side, there is no four side. Okay, and the four side for two is one or five five, and the back side is point five five five. The Four five one point three three three. The back side two point one one one. This for example. Don't write these numbers please guys. And intermediate point five zero and one point five zero intermediate okay. and the last four side one point four oh one. Can you solve this one now please guys? If you have this reading and the elevation is it's 180, okay. can you solve this problem now? And what you should do in order to get the check, arithmetic check? Elevation one plus some backside minus uh, some foresight to equal elevation. The last one, the last elevation, is it right? The distance is to find the K adjuster. There is no case. there is no distance if there is no distance. Okay. How are we gonna calculate this one? Okay. The back side plus division give you the high school instrument. And after that high school instrument minus four side it give you the division of point two. And after that the, the 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 elevation plus the back side get you the height the height and after that subtract from four side it gives you it means you can use the calculator keep the previous calculation and do the second one and do the third one and so on until reach here here it should be this height subtract it from this one from this one from this one means the last one if, if, it, if there is an intermediate side. Okay? Something else. How many loops? Three loops. It means you have to have three back sides, you have to have three heights, and you have to have three four sides. Some of you until now they don't know that. I'm not sure why, how they pass to break one, I'm not sure. But this is the rule. Three, three, if three loops. If it's four loops, it would be four and four. Okay? Did you calculate that, guys? The last one? Um, one eight. 0.945. This one is one in two zero zero zero. And please, guys, write three decimal. Don't try two or one. Even if there is nothing, be right written here. Okay. One eight four point five zero zero. One eight five point two seven eight. And one. Is 3.167 and 184.778, and 184.277. If my calculation is right, I'm not talking about the, the, the 
job is done right or not. I'm talking about calculation only. In arithmetic check, it gives me this number. The arithmetic check. If I say the sigma back side is equal to 7.666 and sigma four side is equal to 3.389, I can say arithmetic check equal to the first one 180 plus the back side 7.666 minus the four side sum of the sum four side to give me 184.376. This is what it should be. And I'm done calculation work. It doesn't mean I did good job. It means only the calculation part. Okay? Go. And something else, you have to know what is the parts of the total station. What is the parts of total station? You have to know about it. Is it like, is there a word bank? Is there a word bank? Or do we have to like, go to curve? You have the you have the sheet. Oh, okay. You have the, I give you the sheet. Okay. okay. Last thing, guys. Everybody remembers the practical practical test two. Topo, everybody, what what do we what we have done over over there in in the top? We create what? Traverse, triangle traverse. Is that right? And everything is calculated by the total station or field genius. Okay. Now, how you calculate it by yourself? How you calculate this traverse by yourself? Okay. This is this is important. I'm going to give you now example, okay? And try to solve it now, please, guys. As if you are in exam, okay? If I have here, I am here. This is a total station, okay? In station one or two or three or four, I set up everything and point and over the point, and after that, backside number two. I backside number two, okay? And I found here, I put in field genius, the azimuth, and I measured the distance by field is a genius, okay? Now the, the distance is 100 meter, and azimuth is 300 degrees. And this one is two. It means the backside is here, the total station is here. Okay, and this one is number one. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and see where the, the 360 first. Okay, guys, means I'm gonna see and move to measure angle. But instead of giving angle, I give you coordinates. When I give you coordinates, how you can get the angle, this angle? and how we can get the distance, okay? The coordinate here and azimuth is, you put it in field genius, is that right? For the beginning of the line. The, here if, if the north thing is 1,000 and the east thing is 1,000. And point three is 500 north thing and the 500 is here. Okay? How can I get this one? Distance and the azimuth. And the angle. How can I do that? What's that? Tan alpha? You don't use tan, you don't use the old stuff. Use something that you learn it from the bank one. How are you going to solve this problem? What's that? Coordinates. 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 How are we going to do that? 
Are you solving by uh, step by step or are you solving by, by, by table? Okay, you solve it by table. Don't solve this question by uh, geometry only. Solve it by table. Whatever you learn it from Sergeant 1. How do you solve it by table? Remember the table? Or you don't remember the table? Exactly. Line, the course, and the distance, azimuth, latitude, and departure, and after that. Remember? Remember, guys? This is an ABC uh, survey. ABC survey. Oh my god. How are you going to go for the, the exam, guys? If you don't know how to do that, I told you the exam is covered surveying one, surveying two. Okay. Okay. This is the example. No, no, I need the table. Okay, I'm going to give you the table and solve it. Okay? Okay, table guys, table, lines, line of course first, okay. and after that, distance, and after that, azimuth, and after that, latitude, and departure, departure. And for me, I prefer this method. If you prefer any method, you can use it. Station. And after that, nursing. And easting. Remember that, guys? Whoever in my class? OK, yes. If you use the geometry, it will be your responsibility. End of the story, okay? <laughs> End of the story. If you, if you use... Uh, so as long as we get the final answer, we're good, right? Let's say you use triangle, you use semi to If you, if you got... The but this is the easiest way. This is the easiest way. Okay? Guys, easiest way to calculate coordinates, this is the way. Okay? If you use any different way, it's your responsibility. For Lion, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a station first. A station. Should I start from where? Start from where? I start from one. If I start from one two, I'm gonna go from two to three, three to one. Doesn't work. If I start from three to one, I have line. Okay, and after that one to two. Okay, guys. I'm going to give you only the hint, and after that, you're going to do it by yourself. I'm going to say, start from 3. Station 3 means 3 to 1. And after that, station 1. And after that, 1 to 2. 1 to 2. Line, station 2. Now fill, fill the blank and solve the problem, please. Okay, I gave you the hint how to solve it. Okay? You have from three to one, and after that from one to two. Can you work? Work a little bit? A little bit. Work as a group, it doesn't matter. Work for, with group. What can you go do? Get okay. yeah, all the way back to like one. The first unit, right? Is this the first unit? I forgot. Is this the first unit? Mm -hmm. 
First unit to traverse. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you.